Welcome to the journey. Today, we're talking about how to use Instagram for your business. Let's jump in. Hey, I'm Neely, your GoDaddy guide for today. And today we're talking about how to use Instagram for your business. And for that, I have my social media expert, Emma. Hey, Emma. Hey, Justin, what's up? How are you? I'm excited. Are you ready? Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. <laughs> cool, so we're talking about Instagram for a small business owner. Maybe I have a coffee shop that has a skate park in the back. Who knows? What's, what's kind of the first step? What should I be looking at? So think about your audience. I know Instagram is definitely preferred by teens and millennials, so that'll be great for your business idea, which you stole from me. Um, <laughs> but also some cons, you know, like a lot of the platforms out there, there's a pay to play component. Right. It's important to think about who you're trying to target before you even get on there. Also identify your voice, because you want to be on there and be consistent, because after all, it's your brand. Right. So you don't want to be one way on one post and then 360 on another post, and it's hard to follow. Yeah, which I know for small businesses, because they're doing and juggling a million different things. Yes. Sometimes they'll have four different people at the business doing the Instagram. And while I, I see why they're doing that, it comes off that way. Right. And it's too inconsistent from the way the photos look to the coloring to the captions. Right. It's just, there's no consistency there. Absolutely. So what about my profile? I've seen some pretty great profiles and I'm just looking around, I've seen some bad ones. What are some best practices and things to avoid? So best practices, definitely starting with the name. You want your okay. name to be consistent across. So coffee and kickflips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Again, stealing my business. <laughs> so you wanna be consistent across Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook with mm -hmm. that name, that handle. Also, when it comes to your photo, I'm sure, because it's a visual platform, there's yeah. so many ideas you want to put up there. Also, stay consistent across the platforms. And don't forget your description. You what know, should I really put in my description? Should I just say, cool, come buy coffee at my shop, or what should I do? Just give me essentially your elevator pitch. What makes you unique? Also, feel free to just, in a way, kind of brag. Like, what, right. what makes you cool? All right, so Instagram has posts and it has stories. Can you talk to us about some of the things that we should look out for when we're, we're doing a post versus a story? Yeah, so there's a lot to say about posting on Instagram. And mm. one thing that I like to remind small business owners is that it's important to come off authentic, yeah. consistent, but also professional, okay? Right. So it's like a balance, those are the ingredients. The one good thing with Instagram is that, although it's a highly visual platform, you don't have to hire a photographer. And give us a sense of that behind the scenes. Who works there? The outside, the inside of your business. I, I love that because you can really get a sense of, I'm already there, but you're not. You're maybe on the go or chilling at home on your couch, but you right. could feel like you're <laughs> already at that business. I've got a great idea. Should we do it behind the scenes? Let's do it behind the scenes. All right. Wait, right now? Right now. Absolutely. All right. So this is really gonna bring to life what we're doing. We'll, for we'll all see of if you this makes the cut. Okay, cool. On my uh, ability. Yeah. So we got the behind the scenes here. All the crew, say hi. Please document this. And then let's, perfect let's, height. Let's let's. <laughs> oh come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> all right, diving back in. So. Line! <laughs> Back to what we're actually talking about. You're on Instagram. Right. Great. Literally all day. Now what? You want to be active, proactive. So as a business, it's really important that you're paying attention to when a customer or potential customer right. comments on your post. Let them know you heard. Like their comment, respond back. Also, if they're tagging your business or mentioning, acknowledge that as well. And that can help with customer retention. I mentioned a business that I was at mm -hmm. and I was traveling and you know, doing my own thing on the road and I just mentioned them because they had this amazing soy latte and I was stoked on it. Sure enough, they respond back with this like genuine message of thanks for my business. And even though I preach about this all the time and educate business owners on doing this and it happened to me, I felt truly valuable and it like made my day. So I'm right. more likely to go back and do business with them. Yeah, I love it, right? Like 
we have an easy way just to actually talk to people. Like if you go up to a random stranger and say hi, they're like, wait, what are you doing? Yeah. But on Instagram, it's just the norm. Or if we, you call me, don't yeah. call me. Who calls? Who calls people? It's 2019. <laughs> um, so cool, so give us a lowdown on just Instagram search. Yeah, so Instagram search is really helpful if you're looking to, for example, grow your following. Mm -hmm. You wanna look for a target audience of your own, look for people talking about things that pertain to your business. And so you can search use those this, hashtags. Yeah, search hashtags. So you can find people that are relevant and then follow them. So you're mm -hmm. growing an organic following, right? right. Um, but also you can chime in on conversations with people. So maybe you are a vegan restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me know, I'll be there. So if you're a vegan restaurant, maybe search for other people talking about vegan cooking, vegan recipes. Maybe you then follow a vegan blog or a chef. And that way you're really cultivating this niche bubble, mm -hmm. which will ultimately help your engagement, which we'll talk about engagement rate. I mean, you brought it up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado. So engagement rate is really important because you want to make sure you're measuring your success on there. Absolutely. So engagement rate is your ROI. Okay. So you hear me say the word a lot, but what it actually is, it's, it's some math. Are you ready? No. What was, your, what was your best subject in school? Not math. Not math, okay. <laughs> so it's really simple. Engagement rate is the number of likes divided by your followers times... 100. Carry the three divided by two. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll write it down for you later. Thank you. But that's gonna give you some insight as to, hey, this post, did it performed well, or it was a flop. And then from there, you can even go further, because if you're on Instagram as a business, you ha which you should be, as a business page, then you have insights. You can see what time of day worked best to post with your audience, mm -hmm. what day of the week worked best, and then you look at the engagement rate as well, and okay. it's just gonna help you to have this approach to posting that's not so blind. Right, it's not a shot in the dark. It's it's in more of an educated guess, because it's not always perfect, but it gets you in the right direction. Yeah, it's but again, good. you want to be there and active, so I really can't stress the importance of commenting and replying to your customers as they're engaging, taking the time to engage with and your business. And literally comment back on every single person yeah. that commented, because they took the time to say something, Yeah, reply back in that time of day. And have fun with the stories, just yes. like we did, because that's truly a, it's a live element, it's a right. very organic, authentic element to your personality right. and your brand. And if you feel like, oh, I don't have time to do all this, then I encourage brand ambassadors. Get your staff involved in this. Also come up with a hashtag, so that way when your customers come in, they can start getting the content for you and then you can just sit back, use it, repurpose it. Yeah. I'm all about efficiency. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much for hashing it out on the gram. You've been awesome, Emma. Thanks for having me. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. <laughs> Well, this has been The Journey. Make sure you comment and subscribe so you know when the videos are coming out next. Thank you again, signing off.